story, residents of areas in Accra affected by Thursday's downpour woke up counting the cost of the floods. Apart from the extensive damage to property, at least one death is being linked to the downpour in the subsequent flood. The body of a middle-aged woman believed to have been trapped was found Friday at Dom in Accra. An eyewitness said the body was found close to the residence of the former chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Peter McMenu, in the National Democratic Congress constituency office. According to the witness, the body was there for at least two hours before police came in. So as you can see, the footage from yesterday's downpour and the subsequent floods and people struggling to salvage their wares and other materials, vehicles stuck in the rain. So it's obvious Thursday's rains exposed the poor design and in most cases lack of proper drainage systems at most markets and lorry terminals. Most of them were either flooded or muddy when the news team visited. Flat waters had receded when the new steam arrived at the main terminal at the Nkrumah Circle. Passengers and commuters had to make their way through the mud left behind. The drivers complained the flood affected them in more ways than one. The flood waters were yet to completely recede at the Mala market. The main grinding mill, according to the market queen, suffered the most damage. She blamed the flooding on a drain that has been blocked by a refuse dump. The situation was no different at the Kaneshi market, which took quite a hint from yesterday's rain. Traders and commuters had to contend with the mud left behind as they tried to do business. For some of them, though, it had become a ritual they have become all too familiar with. President Maham has directed the conclusion of an agreement which will see the construction of a major storm drain in Accra expected to significantly reduce flooding in the capital. The president who announced this when he toured areas affected by first day's floods, however, said the Conti project alone would not solve the problem and urged city authorities to tackle the sanitation challenge which has been identified as a major contributor to the problem. The president's first stop was the Malam Junction where he inspected a filling station. Residents say is obstructing the main drain in the community. Okay, One resident was still trying to get rid of flood waters that had entered his room. Uh, this place is a low land area, so all the uh, rains, uh, the floods that come from other places, this is the last end. So when he comes here, it just overflows, then goes into our rooms. And when uh, they were doing this road, the contractor promised to, after doing the road, he will fill this place for us. He didn't do it. So this place has become low. So anytime it rains, the, uh, uh, the flood waters will just come to the house. Officials of NADMO and AMA who accompanied the president briefed him about the situation. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
The president was also at Sakaman, another suburb of the capital, which has been badly affected by Thursday's downpour. The Accra mayor told the president the city badly needed the Conti project, which he says is currently awaiting the finance minister's approval. The Conti project have all been put in place. Um, we have done all the master plan and are all in place. Uh, we are now at the point where the loans agreement is in the Ministry of Finance. Just yet, three days ago, I was there and the minister is working on it. President Mahama explained the construction of the storm drains are particularly crucial because of the layout of Accra. Prime range of mountains and then you have the Atlantic Ocean. Yes. And so the rain falls over the mountains and the water must find a channel to go into the sea. Yes. And we built a capital city in the middle, in the middle uh, blocking the water. Yes. And so what we need to do is to open all the channels and make sure that they have unfettered access. We are sure the mayor of the county project will be signed off very soon. I've directed that the county project be signed as soon as possible because that will give us some relief. The county would work on some of the uh, streams and the, the drains and then also give uh, more capacity for garbage collection and also dredge the Kuala Lagoon. The news team later spoke to some of the affected residents at the Sakaman who blamed their woes on a house they say had been built in a waterway. Because I hope you have a ball and you got them. And then I was just to got a son. And I'm not choking in a bar, be brave, dear Padachao. Oh, my boobus are dying if you hope. They are on toy or not. This is a new got under construction. For the past almost a year now, the contractor has stopped working on it. He said he had not been paid, hence he stopped the work. But this building that's at the back is the uh, obstacle. That is laying the construct, contractor off. The gutter has been constructed from Sakaman Road. And the, the gutter is just behind the, the building. We are left with the bridge so that the gutter will pass through his gate, not breaking his house. Pass through his gate, then you join the other one so that the water will flow. That's all. The victims appeal to the authorities to come to their aid. The National Disaster Management Organization is yet to collate figures on the extent of devastation caused by Thursday's floods. Officials, however, say some 900 homes at Malam alone have been earmarked to receive relief items. Deputy Greater Accra Regional Coordinator of NADMO, Bala Mai Kankam, has been speaking on today's big story. Uh, almost 970 something households. Okay. Also, within, within Malam to uh, uh, Malam environ around that area, Malam, Awoshi, and then Santa Maria. Mm. So we are almost 900, getting to uh, almost 970 something, yes. And, and so these are... by the count of the day, it should be more than that. Yeah, you see, the problem is the drainage. Normally, the way the contractor, especially the one at Malam, I don't know who did that very well, but then the contractor, I mean, the, those who are supposed to, to survey or to, to su supervise that very con uh, the project, I think the person didn't do the job, his job very well. Because mm. what I'm saying is that uh, listen, the, the, the plan wasn't better at all. There is no proper drainage there. There are no gaps or nothing. 